This tutorial shows how to generate XML from Java code using a productivity tool called Liquid XML Data Binder 2011. Now it's a best practice to produce your XML using a tool like Talent Open Studio where you specify the source and target mappings and Talent Open Studio will generate jobs based on that. However, sometimes the processing or the data model or the extraction is so difficult that you need to work with your own flexible programming language in this tutorial to show Java. I'm working with an XSD here of car rental desks and it's a nested type of airport and inventory elements. Inventory is based on cars which in turn is a global structure called car type. This tool XML Studio Developer helps with the generation of the XSD and I'm going to use Data Binder 2011 to take this XSD and render a set of Java classes that I'll then integrate using Eclipse. Liquid XML Data Binder 2011 is an application that generates Java code based on an XSD. Car Rental Desks is an XSD I created previously. and stepping through the wizard I'm selecting Java as my target language and I'll use some different values for the base package I use my company name and I'll put all this code into the XML package I'd also like to change some of the scheme and object mappings specifically data binder is defaulting to this underscore naming convention and usually I use the camel case So I'll replace each of these class names with uh, my convention. Car type's fine, inventory's fine. And I'll also replace the schema alias. Uh, TNS is a technique I use in the XSD authoring to specify target namespace, but I'll give it something a little bit more user-friendly here. And so for each of the entities that you find in the XSD, you'll get a Java class. And as you work in your programming language, you'll be creating these objects. And eventually, you'll call some type of a two-string routine to get the string data out, and that'll be what's distributed. Similarly, it works in reverse. You generate Java code using Liquid XML Data Binder 2011. An ant build script is also generated, but you can use these generated source files in any IDE. To use it in Eclipse, start a Java project, and bring up the properties window, and link to the generated source. The generated Java classes are added to the project, however there's some compilation errors. You need to also include a library dependency, Liquid Technologies jar. And this is in the Liquid XML Studio installation. There's a Redist 9 folder. the project Reeve builds and the compilation errors will be resolved.
I'll now walk through a main program that uses the classes generated by Liquid XML Data Binder. The way to work with these classes is you'll create objects using the normal Java semantics, set attributes, and you'll add objects to objects depending on their containing relationship. In this case, there's an overall top-level element of desks, which is an object that's going to contain desk objects. In turn, that is going to contain airport and inventory objects. And you can see through the various declarations and setters where some of the data comes in. In your case, you'll most certainly be using multiple RDBMSs or web services to provide the data. I had to make one adjustment. It was initially outputting a TNS for all the element names, so I added a CRD namespace element. The documentation also suggests that you can edit the generated classes and replace the generated TNS with this value, for example, CRD on line 41. I'd recommend against that because that can inhibit when you go back and forth if you're trying to do some type of round trip where you're editing things in Data Binder and also in Eclipse. Uh, so probably best to keep things in this particular pattern. Now when I run the program, I get an XML document and it's using the namespace that I've specified here. This isn't a technique that's particular to Liquid XML. XML Beans, Jaxby, there are many binding tools that let you do this, but the data binding wizard is pretty convenient. A nice GUI that cuts down on the errors, the syntax errors or the mapping errors that can come up when you're trying to type this all by hand. Thank you.